Gambling disorder is classified in the DSM-5 as a disorder of persistent, recurrent, and problematic gambling. If you're a psychiatrist, you have to diagnose gambling disorder based on a list of greater than four criteria over 12 months. But for the purposes of step one, it's simply enough to know that these overlap substantially with the diagnostic criteria for substance abuse disorder. Tolerance and withdrawal, a lack of psychological control over the gambling, and criteria involving persistent use despite social or situational consequences. From the perspective of establishing your differential diagnosis, know that manic episodes, which frequently involve increased risk-taking behavior, can also cause people to gamble in a seemingly compulsive manner. In these cases, the diagnosis of a manic episode supersedes the diagnosis of gambling disorder, assuming the patient meets all criteria for a manic episode when they experience problematic gambling. But unlike substance abuse, there's no specific pharmacotherapy for this. The treatment, unsurprisingly, involves psychotherapy to address the addictive behavior. And one flash quiz to wrap this up. What is the broad definition of gambling disorder? And the answer is persistent, recurrent, and problematic gambling. Just remember that the definition of persistent, recurrent, problematic gambling is the bottom line for this section but also that the DSM-5 criteria overlap substantially with those of substance abuse disorder, and that the treatment is psychotherapy. Well done, gang, and we'll see you around for the next section.